Good afternoon. My name is Elizabeth Kaczynskis, your acting mayor here in the city of Gardner. Today is Friday, April 24th. I want to update you on some city business and steps I have undertaken over the last week. Under various provisions of Chapter 53 of the Acts of 2020, the City of Gardner has adopted local options to extend due dates for real estate and personal property tax payments, applications for exemptions, and a waiver of interest on certain municipal tax and other bills paid by June 30th, 2020. The due date of your real estate and personal <clears throat> property tax bill has been extended to June 1st, 2020. June 1st, 2020 is the new due date, even in, if the due date for payment on your previously mailed tax bill is May 1st, 2020. The City of Gardner has also approved the waiver of interest and other penalties for late payment of any excise tax, water, sewer, trash, or other charge added to a bill for any payment with a due date on or after March 10th, 2020, where payment is made late but before June 30th, 2020. This waiver of interest does not apply to bills with due dates before March 10th, 2020, or if the bill is not paid by June 30th. Bills not paid by June 30th will begin accruing interest on July 1st, 2020. As a reminder, the City Council voted to postpone the special preliminary to Tuesday, May 12th, and the special election to Tuesday, June 9th. These elections will determine who will serve as mayor through 2021, with a special preliminary election deciding the two candidates whose names will appear on the June 9th ballot. While the city will be taking many precautions during the two in-person voting events, we are strongly encouraging voters to utilize early voting by mail using the 2020 Municipal Election Early Ballot Application. A letter and a copy of this application has been mailed to all eligible voters in the city of Gardner. More information is available on the City Clerk's webpage on the City's website at www.gardner-ma.gov. As a reminder, the transfer station reopened during limited hours last week. Hours continue today from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and will continue tomorrow, Saturday, April 25th from 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. The Board of Health will reevaluate these hours after this weekend and an update will be posted on the Health Department's webpage on the City's website. Important COVID-19 resources include the city's COVID-19 webpage at gardner-ma.gov backslash COVID, Haywood Healthcare's Facebook page and website at haywood.org, the state's dedicated COVID-19 page at mass.gov backslash COVID-19, or dialing 211, and the CDC's COVID-19 webpage at cdc.gov. COVID-19 has presented unprecedented challenges in all areas of society. Your city government is not immune, but like all of you, we have and will continue to adapt to address these challenges using the best available information and practices. Your elected officials, city department heads, and city employees are singularly dedicated to this purpose. Everything that can be made useful is being called into service. I have every confidence that if we all do what is required of us in this difficult time, we will come through this hardship as a community. To establish a baseline, the first task I undertook as your acting mayor was to survey our city departments in regards to their operational status. I have mentioned this report in my previous video statements. The school department is not included in this report as I am coordinating with the school committee and superintendent to put forward a more detailed report. All departments have implemented policies to adopt best practices and recommendations to limit COVID-19 exposures. Department heads are taking the risks of COVID-19 seriously while putting in place contingency plans to ensure that essential city services will continue to be available. There is an expectation that much will be required once the current restrictions are lifted to catch up on important city business and reduce long-term negative impacts. There were several key highlights from my discussions with various city departments that will help better inform our future decisions, and they are as follows. City departments have been operating for roughly one month now at reduced in-office hours of operation to limit potential exposure to COVID-19. Social distancing protocols and remote working are in place. Gardner Educational TV continues to produce weekly COVID-19 updates for the community and mostly has the ability to work remotely. As a reminder, the City Hall building remains closed to the public. Services like property value data collection, housing and food inspections, purchasing 
marriage licenses and notary services that require people to meet in person have been extended or augmented to be carried out virtually where possible. While city departments have seen an uptick in work via phone, mail, and email as opposed to in person, departments have experienced an overall decrease in the need for certain services, emergency situations being the exception. Conversely, other departments have seen a consistent or increased need for certain services. Orders are in place for responders to wear PPE on calls. Social distancing protocols are in place as much as possible. Director of the Emergency Operations Center, Paul Topolsky, is in constant contact with FEMA and MEMA and has established status meetings on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. He is also in contact with the Police Department, Fire Department, Woods Ambulance, Haywood Hospital, and the Mayor's Office. Thank you very much, Paul. The South Gardner Fire Station has been prepared as a quarantine site for first responders should they need to quarantine away from family members. Some departments and commissions which have pending business requiring public hearings have been delayed, while others have begun to use virtual means to conduct said business. It is expected that virtual means for public hearings will be available soon and the matter is currently being addressed. The Senior Center, the Library, Gardner Municipal Golf Course, the Skate Park, and Playground Equipment remains closed to the public. In closing, I'd like to thank all of our city departments for their communication, hard work, and willingness to step up when and where necessary to continue city business as usual during these unusual times. It has truly been refreshing to connect with the departments. I remain confident in our city, its residents, our dedicated public servants and elected officials to weather and recover from these unprecedented challenges. Thank you, be well, and be safe.